Question 32, we have a wheel uh, with a rotational inertia of capital I. We know its initial angular velocity is zero. It ends at some final angular velocity omega final, and the change in time is equal to capital T. And the question is, what's the average net torque on the wheel during this time interval? Uh, we're gonna use the rotational form of Newton's second law, or the net torque equals the moment of inertia times the angular acceleration. Uh, we, we're gonna use the equation for angular acceleration, which is, change in angular velocity over change in time, and now we're gonna substitute in final minus initial for the change in angular velocity. So we get that the net torque is equal to the moment of inertia times the angular velocity final minus the angular velocity initial divided by the change in time, and we just substitute in our known variables. The initial angular velocity is equal to zero and the change in time is equal to capital T, and we get that the net torque is equal to the moment of inertia times the angular velocity final divided by capital T. The correct answer is E.